Well, good Monday morning, everybody. Going to keep this one short and sweet today because the weather today is going to be extremely quiet out there. But uh, I'll tell you right now what to look forward to the week ahead, the middle and end of the week. A big cool down on the way. Today is going to be just a few degrees warmer than yesterday. A couple of passing clouds. There is a little fog out there on the McCook area this morning. They're at right at zero visibility this morning. Otherwise, a pretty uneventful day with plenty of sunshine. High temperatures a few degrees warmer than yesterday. The humidity sneaks up a little bit more than yesterday as well. Any storms that develop would be in the northwestern part of Nebraska, so most of us will not have to worry about precipitation out there for today or tonight. It stays pretty quiet overnight tonight. Uh, a little warmer, though, a little uh, uh, because of a little more humidity out there. Those temperatures for many of us may stay in the 70s. So we've seen a couple of cooler nights the last couple of nights, including this morning. Morning, but uh, that changes for the next few nights thanks to more humidity. Tomorrow will be hot and humid. We're talking mid to upper 90s, some 100 degree heat off towards the west and northwest. And uh, many of us will see heat indices back over 100. There is a possibility maybe some places being put into a heat advisory for tomorrow. And then the cooler air starts to approach. As showers and storms will enter the picture from the west and the northwest during the overnight hours of Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. Uh, along with that, some isolated strong to severe storms are uh, also possible. Now, Wednesday, we keep the humidity around. It will be cooler because of additional clouds around, and that cool air just kind of continues to work its way in for the rest of the week. Risks of severe weather out there. Now, later on uh, Tuesday, mostly for Tuesday night, there is a small chance from about, oh, Highway 6-ish north. Not a great chance of severe weather, but there is the chance out there. And then again, Wednesday, eastern third of the state or eastern half of the state has a small chance of a little bit of isolated strong to severe thunderstorms out there, especially as storms try to redevelop later in the afternoon and into the evening hours along that cold frontal boundary. But nothing cold about today. We're looking at highs upper 80s to upper 90s. Ainsworth may make a run for 100 degrees today. Also a little breezier as you get towards Ainsworth and Broken Bow. Mostly sunny skies out west, mainly sunny. Highs in the mid to upper 90s, so a little toasty out there to the west. To the south, we're looking at temperatures anywhere from uh, upper 80s around Aurora, low 90s for the Tri-Cities to the mid 90s in northern Kansas. Plenty of sun. A little lighter winds out towards the east, upper 80s and lower 90s for afternoon highs. Your next seven days. Tomorrow, the hottest and most humid day of the week. Those dew points will be back in the 70s for many of us, so very uncomfortable day. Chances of rain and thunderstorms for us here in the Tri-Cities will hold off until after midnight. Those will continue into your Wednesday and Wednesday night before winding down early on Thursday morning. Still humid but cooler Wednesday with the additional clouds around and then Thursday and Friday very comfortable. And look at the overnight lows down into the lower 60s. Some may be in the 50s for lows. Another chance of showers and storms Friday, late Friday night into Saturday and a pretty decent weekend temperature wise. Temperatures in the mid to upper 80s for highs. That's nothing too bad for this time of the year as we kind of start to wind down the month of July. July officially coming to an end next Monday, so about a week from today will be the final day of July. As I said, short and sweet out there for today. Not a whole lot in the forecast, but certainly a nice little cool down to look forward to later on this week. So there's your forecast for today. Until next time, I'm meteorologist Travis Klineski. Hope you all have a great Monday, and God bless.